Crisis Part 2. Yeah. You're off the Ivy? Yeah, I'm, all, I'm, I'm only part-time now, man. I only work like three shifts a week now at, at, at Coco Groovy. I worked yesterday, Monday. It was fucking busy. Um, the boss sent, sent the other guy home. There were two dishwashers. It was fucking busy, man. And he sent the other guy home early, and I had, like, so many dishes to wash. It was fucking crazy. I ended at, like, 4 o'clock. It was so busy that the other guy had to mop the whole restaurant. He had to mop the whole restaurant because it was too busy. He knew I would have been done by 5 o'clock had, had I had to mop. And the boss gets angry when I leave at 5. That's why I, 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 I was fucking busy, man. I had a lot of garbage to do. A bunch of garbage to do. And then it was fucking busy, man. It was so busy. By three o'clock, people, the people, there, there were still like, like five tables at my, at three o'clock, man. It was busy, man. I'm like, why did you send the other guy home? I fucking needed him. Yeah, it was so busy. Because it's still technically the holidays. A lot of people are still on break. They're off work during like New Year's time, right? That's why I was busy at Coco Fruity. It was busy yesterday. Today I'm off. And next week I start my first shift at Casa Greek. What's your goal? I want to make my thousand dollars, at least a thousand bucks, nine hundred fifty to a thousand bucks. Make four hundred at Casa Greek and maybe five hundred fifty, six hundred at Coco Fruity. And the four hundred I can put in my savings. And the 600, I can blow it and use it to pay my bills at Coco Fruity. Because three shifts a week at Coco Fruity, I'm making $600. Six, 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 six fifty around there. Six, seventy around there. And then maybe two shifts at Casa Greek, I make 400 something. I make 400 something dollars. $450, that's enough. Is there? That's my point. I'll see your point, Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> That's my point. Yeah, my nice bike. Obviously. <clears throat> Lose the weight. I didn't go for my walk yesterday. I passed out of my bed. Also, I'll go tonight, though. I'll try my best to go at least five days a week. I'm going to go today. I'll go tomorrow. I'll go Thursday. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Obviously, today. I'll go tonight. Obviously, drop this weight off, too. That's why Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson are hoping I make more money off the book. Because if I make more money off the book, that means I can invest more money into my... Yeah. If I make $20 million, <coughs> I'll be like, holy shit. My significant other would be like, Ivan, you made what off your book? I'm like, I made $20 million. She's like, holy shit. I'm like, yeah, we could... We could I mean, how, how, how does a $1 billion condo sound? She's like, holy, holy shit. I mean, yeah, we can afford it. You know what I'm saying? How does one billion towards a suit a lot sound? It was like, Ivan, you're blowing a lot of your money. I'm like, George, like, I have, like, what? I'll still have, like, what, like, like, 16 billion left? I'm fucking fine. See, if you make 20 billion, you can invest that kind of money towards your property because you'll make your money back. You, if you made it off the book, you're going to make more off the movie. So, Sarah. But if you make 7 billion, don't put a billion towards a suit a lot. You're being stupid. Put 200 million. That's good enough. And three fifty million towards your condo, and you put one point two million dollars fifty million towards the movie. But if you make twenty billion, you can put one point four billion towards the movie, a bit more. That's enough to pimp out to, to put more money towards your your your, your visual effects and your and your costumes, armored weapons. Sarah. So if I made Zanes for one point four billion dollars, I'd put maybe. Maybe a double the amount, like an, an extra, maybe eighty million towards costumes and weapons to create better costumes and weapons, and a bit more towards sets, maybe fifty million towards sets. Whereas extras and cameras, that kind of stays the same. You can update your cameras more, and you can put. Now you can put what, like two, maybe seventy million or something like that each towards each one towards visual effects. 
is crazy. Uh, 250 million or something like that. You can pip it off a bit more if you want. Some sire. Yeah. But the only way I'll put an extra 200 million towards the movie is if I make 20 billion. If I make, if I don't make that, I'm not going to do that. Because you're being stupid with your money. I don't know. If I make 15 billion plus, then I'll put a bit more towards the movie. 15 billion, I might put maybe 1.3 billion towards the movie. 16, 17, 18 billion, 1.3 billion. Put an extra 100 million towards it to pimp up, to put a bit more money towards towards your costumes, armor, weapons for Peter, and your visual effects. And if you make 20, you can put 1.4. And if you make less than 15, you just put 1.2 billion, 50 million dollars. It's enough. So I'm sorry. Or if I make maybe 11, 12, 13, I put maybe an extra 15 million towards. I put, I make it for, 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 for what? For, for 1.3 or something like that. Put an extra 15 million to put towards visual effects. You make, you now put one like 225 towards visual effects and maybe 47 million towards costumes, armor, and weapons. But the costumes, armor, and weapons in the mass is very important. That's your practical effects, right? As well as your set building, hence why you, the, 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 those are very important, obviously. I told you that that's most likely not going to happen. I'm going to most likely make five, seven, or eight, or eight, or nine around there off the book, which is enough. Let's see. Sarah, the Peter Shock, you're making it for one point two billion fifty million dollars. I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit. He's like, Ivan, like, like how, how? He asked me, Ivan, how much money are you putting towards all these sections? Okay, the main sections, you know, I mean, the main things, Peter, on my right is cameras, um, red carpet event, um, visual effects, costumes, armor, and weapons, machines for the mask, and your set building, obviously, and extras. That's like your main stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's like the main stuff. Yeah, and the food, too. I tell him how much money I'm putting towards these sections. He's all shocked. He's like, holy shit. <laughs> Forty million towards costumes, armor, weapons. Holy shit! One of the reasons only had a few million dollars, Ivan. I we can build tens of thousands of armor weapons. That kind of money, yeah. It's unlimited budget, man. We can build the best sets, like a big, like one acre, like a big, like zero point eight acre, one acre forest, Ivan. The size of a football field, looking amazing. Well, yeah, we can afford it. Yeah. One of the reasons he only had like seven, eight million towards set building, Ivan. Ten million towards set building, Ivan. And, we were able to build amazing sets. Yeah, he's all shocked, obviously. He was all shocked. That's why my company guys will blow it out of the water. One point two billion fifty million dollars. That's unheard of, man. They'll blow it out of the water. Yeah, man. I have. Are you releasing yours on theaters? I'm like, no, 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 no. It's four K Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of better. You don't have to worry about the time constraints for the theaters, Ivan. Yes. Like, Peter, I thought of building a theater chain, but, like, I, I have to take, like, a $10 billion loan. I mean, don't do that, man. That's risky. No, you'll make your money back, but don't do that. Just sign with Amazon. Is it 4K Blu-ray? I mean, yeah, Peter, 4K Blu-ray. Like, Holy shit, like a box set? I'm like, yeah, Peter. I mean, that's cool. A nice box set. Are you going to sell merch, too? Yeah, Peter, I'm selling merch. I tell him the kind of merch I'm selling. He's like, holy shit. And every time, I fucking told Peter, if I can you were right, you're fucking crazy. So will Peter say in the movie we just couldn't afford it? <coughs> the doc, no. Because <coughs> I gave him unlimited an unlimited budget, obviously. One point two million dollars you can do unheard of things. Peter would be like, yeah, we, we like I wanted to I want I wanted the I wanted the army to look a bit more CGI. We could afford it. We could afford this, we can afford this for the sets, we can afford this for the costumes, our arms and the mask, we can afford everything. <laughs> yeah, because I gave him an unlimited budget, man. He's all happy, yeah. We can afford this for the extras. Yeah, we could easily afford to have 30,000 30, gathered. We can afford it because I didn't put 35. 
leaning towards extras, yeah. Some sour? I gave you a little budget, man. Yeah, man. It's all happy. $35 million for extras, I mean, it's like, holy shit. That's how much you put towards Visual Flex for Lord of the Rings, yeah. I, we can afford that 5,000 Exodus. Yeah, it only cost me like 300,000 a day. 5,000 people that can afford it. Pay them one. Oh, I wanted it all. It's a good patron for them. Yeah, Peter, it's a good patron for them. My Peter, what about the extras? Like, we can't feed them. Yeah, Ivan, I'm doing the math. We, we can't feed them, Ivan. Fuck them, Ivan. It's Peter, if I speak. Ivan, fuck the extras. We can't feed them. They have to buy them. They have to bring them on lunch. Yeah, they have to bring them on lunch. I mean, like, after two hours, everyone has to work. We don't have time waiting for all these guys eating their food. You're looking at a huge line. It'll take hours, Ivan. We can't feed them. So if you have 200 extras, two for the extras, you can feed them. If you have 500, 1,000, 5,000, you can't feed them. They have to bring them on lunch. They're going to want a piece of the menu. I'm like, you're not getting a piece of the menu. It's for us. It's not for you. So don't hate me. It's like, yeah. He's looking at amazing food. I'm serving the, uh, the cats and crew. They're already spoiled, man. All you can drink is milkshake, Coke, Mountain Dew, Orange Crush, and they're getting an all you can eat buffet, man. That's why everyone around the world is working so bad, yeah. Because they're getting spoiled. No, no company does that, man. Well, a lot of companies do buffets. Like, I heard pro sport teams, they serve the, uh, the, um, the, 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 the athletes like buffet food and all that stuff. But they're not getting spoiled the way they're getting spoiled for Sky My company would be better than all the pro sport leagues. Sky will be better than all the Sky will be a better company than all the NFL teams, all the NHL teams, all the MLB teams, all the NBA teams. I'm, like, my company is even better than the, the, the big, the big, the big pro sport leagues, man. My company, yeah, man. And Sarah, yeah. They got spoiled, the athletes, but not on, not like Sky Source, man. That's why everyone wants to work me so bad, yeah. But comparing Sky Source to the Pro Sport Leagues is a bad example. Is a bad example. You compare it to the Hollow Companies. My company will be better than the Hollow Companies. It'll be better than Hollow, like Incredibles guys. Yeah, man. Like Grand Turismo properties, something beautiful. Yeah, waterfront property, you know, a view of the Pacific Ocean, the mountains. Remember how you saw the mountains in the picture? Because Vancouver, you have the mountains. You have the view of the mountains in Vancouver. It's surrounded by mountains, Vancouver. It's beautiful. That's why, yeah. That's why I want to live there. It's beautiful over there, man. Rank top 25 most beautiful cities in the world. And Neo 2 likes Miami better. I'm like, you're fucking crazy. Vancouver's ranked more beautiful city than Miami, Neo, Neo 2. He, 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 he likes uh, Miami better. I'm like, you're crazy. Miami's beautiful, but it's not Vancouver, man. Better stuff, but it's not as beautiful. It's not as clean. And uh, He's like, I like Miami better. I like the states better. It's up to you. You're entitled to your own opinion. You want to live in the South, you live in the South. I'm staying in the north, man. Don't hate me. I love doing using that joke. I'm saying, yeah. I'm sorry. Will Peter be excited? Yeah, man. Or Mel. They're going to be so excited for the movie. Let's be crazy. <laughs> Are you more excited for my movie than you are Lord of the Rings? Yeah, man, of course, Ivan. It's fucking you and your significant other. That's fucking cool, Ivan. You're the lead? You're the lead of the fucking movie, Ivan. Of course, I'm more excited for this movie than I am Lord of the Rings. Ivan, fuck the new line. Bob Shane and Michael Lynn, I, don't have, I have no respect for them. They fucking ripped me off. They owed me money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They didn't pay me what they owed me, man. They owed me money and they gave me a fucking shitty budget. <laughs> 90 million's not bad. When you compare 90 million to 1.2 billion, it's shitty. It's bad, man. Peter's like, Ivan, like, the amount of money you're putting towards visual effects for the three movies is more than my all my three movies' whole whole budget combined. Yeah. As Lord of the Rings was made for about 300 million for the three movies. And I am putting 600, like, 35 million towards visual effects. That's more than the entire budget of Lord of the Rings for just Vision Rex alone. That's why my, my, my movie, that's why Peter's shocked. It blows the, the budget of, of Lord of the Rings, even The Hobbit, out of the water. Some Sarah? Double the budget of The Hobbit. More than double the budget. The Hobbit was made for about $645 million for the three movies. So the amount of money I'm putting towards Vision Rex is, about, is about like the entire budget of The Hobbit three movie trilogy, guys. And that does not include the set building. 
You also have the cartridge of weapons, the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Mike, Peter, is it possible to put 4K technology into the, the IMAX cameras? Yeah, right, we could do that to make the movie better. Yeah. We, I put 4K technology into the IMAX cameras because I'm, I, I'm releasing my movies in 4K Blu-ray, right? So you had an amazing experience, man. Well, Ivan, you have this technology and you also have the 4K Blu-ray effect on top of that. Yeah. The 4K Blu-ray effect. The, the, the nice sound, the nice vision, looking at an amazing experience at home. Why are you looking at an amazing experience at home? Yeah, man. An amazing experience at home. It's only fucking nice, yeah, man. An amazing experience at home, yeah. I'm sorry. I have to put oil on my hair. I'm sorry. What will be the most fun for you and Peter and all of them? Probably concept arts. That's going to be fun because we're going to be building the world. Writing the script will be pretty fun too, but it's it's it's, it's a bit stressing. It's dirty work. But yeah, I'm like, I'm like, hence why whenever I'm, I write my script, I don't want to be disturbed. We have to lock ourselves in, in, in my office or the boardroom. And we have to, or my office, and we have to work on that script three hours every day. We drink our tea, we drink our coffee, and we lock ourselves in the room. We look at all the notes while we're writing it. We, we, we have our, the book right beside us. We, we go over each page by page. We have to go over pay, everything page by page. That way we have an idea for the scenes. And Peter might tell me to cut certain things out. Yeah, I mean, we should cut this out and change this. Some things in the book we cut out. We just don't include in the movie. Some things we change in the movie. So it's a similar scene, but we change some of the dialogue. We change some of the actions. Some 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 of the stuff they the characters do we change everything so that way that we make the story better for the adaption. So my, sometimes we have the same scene but we add a bit more dialogue to the scene to make it more interesting. Like I might do a thing. My idea for young Tachius is um, Tachius, you have more scenes with the eagles because the eagles are very my yeah Peter. I'm thinking of, of something in young Tachius. Um, Tacius and uh, Ta Tacitonius, they hang out with the eagles, and the eagles tell them stories at nighttime or something like that. The eagles talk to Tacius, and then they tell them stories to make the story more interesting. That's cool. So I'm saying that's not in the book. In the book, they, the eagles are very, they only have a couple scenes in the book. They're very minor characters. Eretat's crows have a bit more scenes in the eagles. Hence why I want to include more scenes with because. I'm paying the actors for the Eagles like 100k. You want to give them some, some scenes. So, I have a scene where the Eagles tell like Tacius and Tacitonius when they're young stories. Because I guess that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can seriously, man. They tell them stories. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's my, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put that in the movie. Will Peter be, uh, uh, have great, yeah, Peter will have great ideas when I show him the Prince of Egypt clips. I even thank you, you gave me some ideas. Yeah, yeah, they all have torches on, they're in the mountains, they're all scared of Ephesus, the demonic bastard, and journey through the, the large caverns. So thank you, Ivan. Yeah, I have some ideas now, you yeah, help him out. That way you give Peter some great ideas. That way he, he, he has a beautiful story in his mind, obviously. This is Bermuda of the Rings! We're happy it's Bermuda of the Rings. No, I mean, seriously, like, this is going to be a better movie than Lord of the Rings, I mean, right? Looking at a masterpiece, yeah. And I thought Lord of the Rings was good. Lord of the Rings is, yeah, Peter, Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece. But Zaynus is, is going gonna, is gonna to top it, man, by a bit, though. Because Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece. Obviously. Are you kidding me, I mean? You're the lead of the movie. You're the prince. You're significant other. You know what I'm saying? You will we'll be Lithia. Like, yeah. I mean, think something like Arwen and, like, and, 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 and like Eowyn for, 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 for Lithia. Yeah, I think something like that for the movie. My significant other, she has a dress. She's a daughter of Eli. Think of something like Eowyn or Arwen for 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 for, for, for Lithia. Look at an amazing movie. Yeah, I, mean, I picture Lithia kind of like Arwen and Eowyn, something like that. Yeah. Look at an amazing movie. Some Sarah. Will you be adding stuff to the movie? Of course I will. You know, I'm not going to follow the book page word for word. You can't do that. An adaptation. You can't some some things on in the book just don't translate well on the screen. So some some things you have to you have to delete, or, or or take away from the book, and some things you have to add. Some things you have to change. You have to do that for. I'm probably gonna maybe change maybe thirty percent of what's in the book. 
But I don't, I don't want to do a drastic change like what Peter did for Lord of the Rings. Peter, I don't want to do a drastic change. We need to follow the book, but we can make changes and, and add and delete a few things if, if, if they don't translate well. And change a few things. They don't translate well on screen. Like, I might add a few things for the prologue to make it more interesting. Some Sarah? Yeah. Add some scenes to make it more interesting, obviously. Add some dialogue to make it more interesting, Some Sarah? Because the character of Aratan for Fool, they're developed pretty well, but they're not as, as developed as well as the humans. That's why for the book, for the movie, I might add a bit more scenes with Aratan and Fafool and all them. But Fool is not is not is not that developed as well as Aratad. Aratad is not developed as well as Tat. I focus more on the human characters than the animal characters. That's why people might tell me, yeah, I mean, we should add a bit more dialogue for Aratad and for Fool to, to develop them a bit more. That that that's not as developed in the book. Yeah, let's do that. Some Sarah. I wrote a masterpiece, but like every book has flaws, right? Like even though Zayn's is a masterpiece, the one flaw in my book is the characters of the eagles, the crows, are not developed that well. Eretat's developed pretty well, but he's not as developed as well as Tachius and the human characters. You, you, that's Tachius, because Tachius is the main character. You guys see what I'm saying here. We can fix that in the movie. It's still He's still developed pretty well, though. We can fix that in the, in, in the movie by adding a bit more scenes. The character of Eretat to make him more interesting, to make the story more interesting, obviously. So is that Ivan, you want Aerith to look like this, 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 this devil being here, and a hired of Pennywise the Clown, he's the king of the south? I'm like, yeah, he has his own throne, there's a mist that veils the south, and once you pass you're in a different territory, you're in Aerith's kingdom. I'm like, yeah, oh, you're looking at a masterpiece. A wolf king, like, a devil wolf king like this? Yeah, Peter, and he drinks blood, yeah, he drinks blood. Aerith in the book, he drinks blood. The wolves drink blood. Um, when Fafool is born, they have this, like, demonic ritual, and they drink animal blood, and they eat raw meat, the wolves. They're kind of like the orcs. They also feast on human flesh, too, by the way. You'll see what I mean in the capture chapter. The wolves feast on human flesh, man. Yeah, man. They feast on human flesh, yeah. Like the orcs do in Lord of the Rings, right? In Return of the King, you saw them biting the guy's neck? Yeah. You will taste man flesh! Remember that? Yeah, they feast on human flesh in Lord of the Rings, too, yeah. Some Sarah. Yeah. I have to see where we'll get my beer and smokes. Yeah. We're officially 2024, guys. Before you know it, we're 2025. It's crazy how time flies by, huh? <laughs> Before you know it, this year goes by so fast. It's Christmas again. We're now 2025. I'm 33 years old. You're 33 in 2025, yeah. <laughs> My goals this year is to lose the weight and save money for my bike and get my secret girlfriend this year or maybe next year. But at least my goal is at least try to hang out with a, with a chick and hopefully get my first secret girlfriend this year. I'm sorry. Fran will be excited too. Why? Well, I can't wait for your movie, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're looking at a masterpiece, yeah. She's gonna help us write the script. Brian will help me and Peter write the script, obviously. Or Mel and his partner, whoever Mel. Chances are Mel will choose the guy who wrote uh, uh, Braveheart and Passion of Christ. He might have those guys help 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 us write help him write the script with me. I choose Mel for Peter. So I don't hate Peter. I'm saying yeah. That's we have to test our creativity. Will your documentary be the best documentary ever, your movie documentary ever? Yes. Because it's, you're going to see me and my significant other. That's why it's, I'm entertained to watch, man. That's why it's going to be the best documentary ever. And it, it's going to be better than the prequels. The, 
the, the Star Wars prequels is, is the best documentary ever made of behind the scenes. Because it goes in detail on it. It goes in depth of like every, like all the departments. No documentary ever did that before. And the Lord of the Rings ones, for me, is second best. It's not as 